um, uh, what you get. Now, first looks are deceiving. I spent 12 years at Brookhaven National Lab. Let me give you an example. We just talked about the transistor. I didn't put up a picture of the transistor. But this here, 1958, it was one of these um, Saturday afternoon events at Brookhaven and National Laboratory where you could finally bring in your families, where all these UFOs land and all this weird stuff happens, right? And so they had to do something. You can't give them chalk talks and, 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 and talk about science. So you had to do something. And uh, William Hickbottom, who was in uh, working in instrumentation at that time, was actually charged by lab management. Do something. You know, get, get, get them excited. Do something. So what he actually did is he took this whole array of, se of, of things here and he created the first version with an oscilloscope of tennis, right? You had two pots you could drive up and so you could place your racket here and place your racket here, right? Silly, right? Absolutely silly. But it's actually the basis of a billion dollar industry. And I love this poster, why waste good technology on science and medicine? <laughs> because the video game industry is tremendous. And as we know, those of us who do simulation there's enormous opportunity to use video games in interacting with matter again via the computer. That's where the hot glove came in 20, 30 years ago, right? And then uh, silicon graphics uh, uh, interaction tools. It's really, you have to stand back and look at potentials and, 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 and that's something uh, that I think is very important. So a lot of the stuff we get, step back a little bit and look at it from a different point of view. So we do little technologies. Actually, with Michael, I, we had this discussion. They're not companies. We call them proto-companies. What is it? It's an opportunity. It's an option for you to exercise on. It's something where there's a technology in there, like here. There's a little sensor. And what we're trying to do is develop a technology that we can take gases and not only tell you how much of that gas exists, but when we have a gas mixture, can we deconvolute you and tell you what type of gas is in there? Is it acetone, NO2, and water in that mixture? Very important. These are, you can make them based on microelectronic technologies, very, very cheap, prevalent. And so this is one of these options. Is this a good technology? Does this have future? I don't know. What we're doing is, we do SBIRs, we play around, we try to develop the technology, but sooner or later there comes a point where we're going to have to find somebody who says, hey, let me have a look at this. And that's, maybe we can do something there. And that's where people like, and says, I don't really understand it, but maybe there is something, there's a market there. That's what we're, what, what we're doing. So we're not going to give you an end product. We're going to give you an option 